So I'm wondering if now is the time to get into No Man's Sky. Uh, this uh, World's Part 1 update just went live, and they've been doing the press rounds, and I've caught a few videos now, and I want to do a reaction video with you guys because I haven't seen this particular one yet. I do kind of know what's in the update because I've seen some other uh, videos. What really has me interested is a little backstory here. Um, I tried No Man's Sky before and did not like it. But there is context to this. Uh, I believe it's even on the channel. Um, is It was a couple years ago, maybe. There was an update that happened where someone had a reviewer had come out and said it was uh, No Man's Sky was now like... Um, Firefly in space, like 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 an actual game that you could go play where it had a Firefly-like feel. And I went, well, shit, I'm a brown coat for life. I love Firefly. Let me go try No Man's Sky. Did the intro stuff. That was the very early beginning stages of my crafting survival experience. Um, I'm a couple years deep now, maybe a little bit more, and we've done lots of fun crafting survival games like in Shrouded. Uh, we're looking forward to Dune Awakening. Um, I've tried quite a few. Um, v Rising was a lot of fun. I play Minecraft with my brother and uh, my nephew, including we're in the middle of uh, the official Dungeons and Dragons Minecraft campaign. So I like crafting survival games. Now, I did not when I first started playing no Man's Sky. Did all the original stuff on the planet, you know, like the tutorial stuff. They send you off to a, a space station. Got to the space station and then had to go back to the planet or a planet. And I distinctly remember um, had to do a landing somewhere and there were like these giant mushroom plants right where I needed to go. And I, you know, new to the game and everything else, I just could not for the life of me get my ship landed in the midst of this like giant mushroom forest thing. And, and struggled with it, ended up blowing up my ship, and, like, that was not part of the tutorial. And the the whole how do you get your ship repaired and everything was just this massive process that, as a new player who is not used to crafting survival mechanics, looked at and said, yeah, fuck this. And I went and did other things that weren't nearly as uh, time-consuming. <laughs> but... I have been playing Crafty Survival Games for a little bit now, and I am excited for the next project that these guys are working on because it looks like a fantasy project, and honestly, it looks a lot better than No Man's Sky, or at least it did until this Sky, uh, No Man's Sky World Part 1 update, and I guess they're not done yet, but essentially, and I think they explain that, at least in the documentaries I've seen so far, they do explain that. We're going to go watch this, and I'll shut up, and, and you guys will understand what we're getting at. Um, but um, they have said that uh, while they've been working on this new game, they got a bunch of tech that they were able to take from that new game and plug in to No Man's Sky, thus resulting in this massive visual update. There's also mechanics updates um, and physics updates. It's generally very impressive, which is what made me sit up and go, you know, I should give this game a fair shot, probably, because I never did. Um, and now that I'm in crafting survival games, it's on Game Pass. I've got it on the Xbox. Um, I'm in the middle of uh, Flintlock right now, and I've got uh, uh, No One Wants to Die. I think it's what it's called. I want to play next. But then I will have a little bit of time in August, it looks like, to dabble in something right before the war within and i'm wondering if this might be it i might even start before then and just doing like once a week in this or something i don't know we'll see let's go watch this video because it looks really really impressive um and i want to see what this particular video has to share with every update we just want to surprise New world. It looks really cool, man. New gameplay. New technology. I like that ship, man. We're eight years in now, and you still just want to do really big things. 
hang on. When he said they're eight years in now, has No Man's Sky really been out for eight years? Has it really? Hang on. Now I'm looking up on my phone because uh, it has been a while. I can remember it had a horrible launch because um, they like over promised on a whole bunch of stuff. I remember there being accusations of uh, um, misrepresentation and everything else, but they turned it all around and busted their butts to get a bunch of free updates out to everybody. Um, Windows in 2016. I'll be damned. It has been eight years. Holy crap. No, it's not. It's been, yeah, it has. Gosh, damn. Time flies when you're having fun. Our next update is called Worlds Part One. I'm so proud of the team and the, the love they're pouring into it. We are completely refreshing the universe with new technology, new flora, new fauna, and new gameplay. In No oh, Man's Sky, amazing. what you see on screen is generated by the computer. And we're achieving a, a level of variety that just wasn't possible before. It does look when impressive. When we started No Man's Sky, uh, you know, I wanted people to feel like they had stepped into the cover of a science fiction novel. Oh, I like the robot skin, that was cool. Had to create a lot of new technology. Yeah, new the new water waves. technology can create waves and reflections, oceans looked so different to what we had before. Ocean planets feel completely new and ships can now land on water. Oh, what? Six months ago, hang on, we... Hang on. So they didn't show this in the other videos. I've watched a couple of other videos now and I didn't... Actually, I, I was lamenting the fact that I didn't get to see the ship landing on water. So here we actually get to ship, to see the ship laid in the water, and you can see what the physics are doing on the water surface. Uh, so I gotta say, the fact that eight years later they're still putting the time to bring tech like this to their game, from an outsider's perspective, because again, I've only ever tried this game once, but I mean, talking about the roots of the company, um, I know they're working on that new project. Um, that's all really cool. Uh, it's impressive. Uh, one quick note, though, the way he worded it, um, I thought this was already out. And the way he worded it, unless this, <clears throat> unless this is a, this video has a, you know, a, this video has got some time behind it right now. When was it published? A couple days ago, I want to say July, uh, ju yeah, July seventeenth, three days ago. So maybe they were talking about the forthcoming patch that was coming out right after this. The the press went live. Um, I need to go check the launch date of the. Um, update one because I just don't know does it say here in the in the um, video quick commercial break everyone to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time really appreciate the support all you got to do is join as a member you get access to private videos you can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see and beyond that don't forget we're multi-streaming over on twitch now so you can support over there as well thanks so much to everybody let's get back to the video at hand Dun, 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 dun. Our next update is what it says in the article here. Um, but then on the July 19th, it won. It says, thanks for playing our um, update. Oh, yeah, Light No Fire. This is the game that um, they're going to be doing next, which you can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Full patch notes here. That's what I was looking for. Update 5.0. Oh. Worlds Part 1 Introducing Update 5.0. Okay. The deep dive. 
This is a pretty cool looking uh, update page. New volumetric clouds. Holy crap. Customize your shoulders. Guys, am I about to lose my soul? I didn't realize. I didn't realize what was available here. Again, I only briefly ever played it that one time just for a video, and I was like, Rah! but this looks freaking awesome. Look at the... Holy crap, there's a bunch of stuff in this update. Full wind simulation? We're going to get back to the video in a minute, guys. I got sidetracked. You're, I'm, yeah, it is what it is. Dynamic water? Holy crap. Liquidator combat mech. You can, you can get a mech suit? What the fuck? There's mechs. For the Minotaur. What is the Minotaur? Dude. I'm so glad I downloaded this the other night. I'm busy with Flintlock right now, but I'm looking at this going, I need to start playing No Man's Sky. <laughs> oh, man. I had a lot of fun in Starfield. Like This looks absolutely Dude, we're only a, we're not even halfway down the page yet. Storms, dude, awakening. Pay attention, guys. That that's an impressive looking storm. We have yet to see what the storms on on Arrakis look like. Twitch drops, Walker battles. Dude, I wonder what the gunplay is like. Dude. <laughs> Mechs! You can freaking have mechs in No Man's Sky. That alone is worth the price of admission in my mind. Wow. Strange nutrients, dude. All right. We, we may be we may be having some fun here. Look at the outpost. I like this. Lots of different art styles. Look at that. It's like a droid. With a some sort of cool looking yellow ship. Man. Wow. That is crazy to think about. Alright, let's get back to the video, guys. I'm s I'll be there the next hour at the size of that. Hang on. Here we go. Six months ago we announced Light No Fire. It's this crazy, ambitious game. It looks amazing. And we've been this working is what on got it me for excited. Years, and we've learned so many things. And it feels like I saw we're, footage for this we're game and bringing went, this oh, I'm gonna wanna play technology that. back from the future. Bringing it back to this game. Plug and play, baby. Planets have wind patterns. Waves are... But is that a before and after? Planets have wind patterns. Waves are dynamic and they react to the weather. Oh, look at those waves in the background. That's my favorite this... thing in the game. So that's all? We're almost bringing this technology back from the future. So hold up a second. So they're showing in effect right here through this sequence of shots. This is really impressive. This is the same location, right? But it's dependent upon the weather and the waves, which are dynamic and linked. That is really impressive tech. Planets have wind patterns. Waves are dynamic and they react Frothy. to the weather. Now they're pulled back. My favorite thing uh -oh. in the game might just be That's cool. flying through the clouds and out into space. Yeah, because they say they have new volumetric clouds now. Clouds for us are a unique challenge, right? You can see them from space, you can fly through them, you know, you can land on a planet and look up at wow. the sky. You get these beautiful skies now with just tons of variety. Sometimes a storm hits, 
and you know the waves rise the clouds gather you've got the atmospherics the wind God all this damn. technology i've just finished reading dune messiah and i'm in the middle of uh, there's nothing like children it. of dune right now that thematic right there on the surface of the planet we've added these new volumetrics and you get rolling fog rain Is that a dwarf in a blizzards suit? little sparks coming up from the lava changes how planets feel, you know? It just makes them feel alive. Across these new biomes, we've added new creatures for you to discover. We're really trying to push on the level of variety. It's not enough for us to just do more, you know? We want to create things that people haven't seen before. Expeditions cool. have become a huge part of how folks play the game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Expeditions. What are expeditions? I'm sure this is explained in their um, in their big drop-down, right? Promotional piece over at their website. Expeditions. Locate your starship. Reward, Supreme Movement System, Power Front. So, Rendezvous says here. So, there's challenges to this. Expeditions. So you need to reach specific points, do specific things, farm specific things. These, these are all completion components within that challenge. That's cool. And this new one is very sort of Starship Troopers inspired. It's Starship something troopers. really different. Because of the bugs, I guess, yeah? Nice. It takes you on a tour of some of these cool new planets that we've added. Everyone is battling together. Progress is community driven. Nice. And the rewards are super cool. That mech shot, man. Something I love is to browse the screenshots that people share with us. I can't wait for people to explore this universe we've made with fresh eyes. That looks like a space wizard, man. That's awesome. I love Destiny, guys. Destiny is a lot of fun. Destiny 1 and 2. I always felt like a space wizard in that game. Halo Infinite lets you do that as well with one of the builds. The update is called Worlds Part 1 because I guess there's, there's much more to come. You guess, but yeah, yeah. All right. All right. You know there's more to come. Because, you know, as they develop new tech for their new game, if it's if they're able to plug and play and bring it in like they just did to this game eight years down the road, um, that's pretty impressive, and there's no reason they shouldn't do that. Um, I need more information about some stuff. So over here in the world's update, and we get tons of information. The page is definitely hiccuping on me here now that we're deep down into it and i don't know if that's on chrome because i'm in chrome i don't know if that's a chrome issue or if um if that's just their website being cranky um we can switch over here let's go slow and see what happens irritated landscapes insectoid headwear nope it froze again um so all right well I don't know if that's a thing on my end or something on their end, but be that as it may. Um, Worlds Part 1, I believe that's Patch 5, um, and it added a whole bunch of new stuff to the game. And honestly, that looks pretty awesome. Um, I'm going to slot this in somewhere just to go test it out again. It might not turn in anything more than half a dozen episodes or so. Um, kind of like I did with EVE Online. I think EVE Online I did about 10 or 12 episodes. It, may, it might only be just something I do, you know, for the next month or so. But I think I'm going to work on this, you know, like a day a week or something. It looks really fun, and I haven't tried it since that first time. So it definitely needs another shot in my book. So I'd say stick around for something more with No Man's Sky as I do something on the Xbox. Uh, in the meantime...
like, subscribe at the bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams here and on Twitch. And I'll catch everybody in the next one. Stay safe and happy gaming.